What is up guys? We're back in the garage again doing one more little maintenance deal before we put the boat in the water for spring here in Ohio. What we're going to do is mount a dash mount Helix 12 in our Stratus 201. These boats are known to be problem childs when it comes to mounting bigger units just because of kind of the way they're laid out and everything. Uh, we're going to get creative. I've seen some other little deals. Um, seems like this is going to be the simplest way, though. What we've done is, um, thankfully, my dad um, welds and fabricates. So I just had him make me a couple simple aluminum uh, brackets that are going to slide back in there. Going to bolt these down through the fiberglass and add extra support underneath another uh, aluminum plate, bolt it to that. And then on this front side right here, I'm also going to slide another aluminum plate and bolt in that direction and kind of tie it in from this front as well. It's gonna be a 12 inch unit, so we wanna definitely make sure we get as many bolts in anything we can, so. I'll kind of walk you through how I do it here and see if I can get everything fit in there. And All right, so we're up here in the boat. This is kind of what it looks like back in here. I think there's enough meat on this fiberglass underneath. Like I said, if I support it on the bottom as well with maybe some more aluminum. Pre-drill some holes and kind of secure it down. Just kind of... Um, dry fitting it right now. Probably mark mark the like sides of these brackets and then pull this cover plate off so I can get a drill in there and start a couple holes. Made this other piece, it's just gonna kinda sit there and then we'll bolt the actual hummingbird bracket down onto that. I bought a black cutting board off Amazon. After this is all done, we'll just router it out, have a nice black piece there, cleaning it all up, so. It's not going to be anything too beautiful, but it'll work for this old girl. Sorry, it's just me tonight, so I can't really video as I'm doing much, but kind of got through phase one here. We sat the brackets in where we wanted them, kind of marked them long ways and made a little dot on the bracket and on the fiberglass. So we had a front to back as well, but got a... Uh, got a bolt in both of them on the front end and I'll show you what I did underneath for a little extra support I'm going to probably go back here and do the exact same thing so we'll have at least two two good bolts and bottom support in both of them and then as I said I'm going to also anchor them in to an aluminum plate along this front as well. I should have put it in first, but I think I can still shimmy it down in from the side there. Here's what it looks like underneath. Probably not the best video, but I just cut a small piece of aluminum bar stock and bolted that underneath the fiberglass. So it isn't just the fiberglass holding this heavy unit. All right, so I got the two back holes drilled. Um, just wanted to let you know, you do have to go in underneath the dash and drill those from the bottom. You can't get a drill back in this far enough. So, um, but about two bolts is all you're going to be able to fit. So we're going to support them real good and go from there. Right. So we got our second bolt in the back. Um, wasn't able to use the aluminum bracket underneath because my steering oil line kind of interferes. So what I did was got some gigantic big washers as big as I could find to give them enough support on the bottom as I could. You can kind of see, just bolted them from the bottom with lock washers. They are really, really solid. I think it's all going to hold up pretty good once we get it all in how we want it here. Okay, moving right along here. Uh, we've got our cover plate mounted and our fish finder bracket mounted. It's solid. 
shy of a really bad day on Lake Erie, which I'll probably take my units off anyways if it was that bad. So I like it so far, guys. Let's put the unit on and see what it looks like. All right, big old baby up there. Got some nice clearance so I don't bust my knuckles. Worked out good, so I just mounted that thing right on our right on our dudes. Not much flexing going on. I still may try to devise some type of extra support going in the bottom there. Don't really think I'm gonna need it. What I have to do is get a couple measurements and I've got this black cutting board I bought. I'm gonna take my jigsaw and just cut out a plate and put it in and clean it up a little bit. Can I be in it? Hi. Hello. All right, guys, there's our cutting board. I think it's gonna work out real nice. We're just gonna leave a little gap underneath i just um cut it out took it to the bench grinder kind of made that corner i might clean up that edge a little bit more but looks good it'll, it'll look as good as i need it to i just got some construction of adhesive and tacked the back of it just enough to hold it on there so you can take it off easily if you need to that's what i've kind of always done with those so Looking, looking fairly clean for an old girl. There she is. Got her all hooked up. Moment of truth. Let's uh, let's see if she'll turn on. Bingo. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. That's about how I did her. Took me about an hour. So, got, got to go back to the back and hook the transducer up. Thanks for watching.